Hello, Furniture Redesign family, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be working on upscaling this old desk. Now, this is another piece that I picked up from an estate sale. I love those estate sales and my Goodwill stores. So, this one, it's in really great condition. Um, there's a few marks, but not really that many, but it's not in the color that anyone would want today so we're going to upscale it for a modern home as usual there's always something left behind looks like this is an empty box some tape address stickers and a magnifying glass wow okay so we're going to clean all of this out take the hardware off the piece and wash it down so let's see oh okay looks like i have a logo or a name here let's see here let me grab my glasses it looks like it says made in the usa carolina furniture company all righty then I don't know much about them. I'll see if I can find some research on them. Again, the top doesn't have very many scratches, but it is a laminate piece and it looks like there may be some damage over here in the corner. And I haven't decided what I wanna do with the top yet. Um, I have the chair here. That's a part of the piece. So we're gonna make it match the dresser and here at the bottom I have those scallops which I don't like so I want to cut the scallops out and give it an arch look so I uh, don't want to go out and buy any new paint I'm gonna use some paint for my collection here and I also have to find some fabric for the bottom of the chair I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to prepare my water, TSP, and prepare to clean the piece. But before we do that, let's flip it over and take off this scallop bottom. Time to cut off this scallop edge on the bottom. This is the first time I've used this oscillating tool, and I did get this from my husband. So here we go. As you can see, it didn't cut all the way through. The blade wasn't deep enough. So I'm just gonna use my jigsaw and cut the balance off. Not very pretty, but we can clean it up with a little bit of sanding. I use my sander to smooth it out. Sorry, I don't have the footage of that. And now I'm just taking my shot back and getting all of the sawdust off the piece. The hardware has been removed and my desk is off the floor. I have my warm water here with TSP added and I have an abrasive pad. So I want to start by scrubbing my piece down. Oh, I guess another drawer I didn't open. I have two staplers, two boxes of staples, and lots of paper clips. Mm -hmm. 
Before I rinse, I'm gonna try one more time to pull these drawers out. Okay, so because the drawers are older, I'll have to make sure I wax the tracks so that they'll glide easy. Now that that's done, it's time to scuff sand my piece. I'm using 180 grit sandpaper to scuff sand the top of my furniture. I decided to go ahead and stain the top of my desk. Uh, right now it has a, a veneer on top with a faux grain on it, but we're gonna use citrus orange to spray on top of that. Um, and I'm using the citrus orange and scraping it as opposed to sand it so that I don't uh, sand through the veneer. So I'm just gonna spray this on, leave it on, for about an hour, come back and scrape it off. To fill the holes on two of the drawers, I'm gonna use this plastic wood and a plastic spatula to fill these holes. I'll let the wood filler dry and move to the next step. I'm sorry my camera wasn't on, but I took the citrus orange off. Um, I removed the plastic and I used this plastic painter's tool to scrape off the citrus on orange. However, it did not come off. Now, I was under the impression that this was a piece of uh, veneer. As you can see, the paint did come off around the edges, which is solid, but this is a piece of thick laminate on top. So we're gonna have to do something a little different so I am just going to clean off all of the remaining citrus orange. And as you can see, um, the wood is showing through. What is not wood is not going to show through. So I'm just gonna clean it up. Now that it's clean, you can look and get a better idea of what I was talking about. The edge is all wood, but the top has that thick layer of laminate. And I'm just going to the back so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a very thick layer of this laminate that's on the back of the piece. The wood filler is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand the drawer fronts smooth. Now I'm ready for my paint. Today I'm using Diamond Hard Paint in Midnight Wave, the color. Now this doesn't, this paint is an enamel paint and it doesn't need any um, pre-preparation. Now I did uh, light sand it, sand the paint, but we don't have to add any primer. So I'm gonna take my short handle angle brush here and I'm gonna do all the cutting into the corners. Now I'm gonna switch over to a four inch nap roller and roll on my paint. Now 
My first coat of paint is complete. I'm gonna let it dry and we'll come right back for a second coat. The first coat of paint is dry and now it's time for coat number two. I'm back and I've added two coats of paint to my desk and it's dry. I'm ready to work on my tabletop. Now, of course, we figured out that it wasn't real wood, it's laminate. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dixie Bell Midnight Sky Black Paint and paint the top of the desk. I'm going to let the first coat dry and come back and add a second coat to the top of the desk. Now it's time for the second coat of the Midnight Sky on the desktop. This time I'll be using smooth long strokes to reduce the streakage on top of the desk. As you can see, I also added tape around the edges to keep the black paint from getting on the blue. Heading for the finish line. Now it's time for the top coat. Today I'll be using Minwax wipe on poly and the satin finish and this is a water base i'll be using this sponge applicator to apply my wipe on poly i'm going to pour a generous amount on my desktop and apply it to the piece I'm gonna let my first coat dry and come back and add a second coat. Here's a look at the chair that goes with the desk. However, I won't be working on the chair today because the fabric I ordered for the chair did not come. So we'll save that for a short tutorial. My first coat of poly is dry on my desk. I decided to go ahead and scuff up the top of the desk to give it a distressed look. I'll go ahead, take a damp cloth, and wipe off all the dust that's left behind. To save time, I'll go ahead, add a second coat of poly off camera. So I'm going to let the top coat dry and go ahead and start adding the handles to the drawers.
I'll also go ahead and put beeswax. I'm using Howard's beeswax and I'm going to wax the tracks for on the back of the drawer as well as condition the inside of the wood. This has a wonderful, wonderful orange smell and will leave the furniture shiny, looking new and smelling new. While you all are watching, don't forget to go over and check out my other channel, Mary's Creative Decor. If you like crafts, home interior and design, it's the best place to be. I'll also leave a link to that in case you missed it in the description box below. Because of the way the top drawer is made, it has a the groove in the middle, I have to decide where I want to place the hardware. I'm going to either put it in the groove here, or should I add two straps and do one above and one below? I think I'll add it in the groove. I'm going to add my last two handles and come back for the reveal. Just like that, my desk is done. If you remember, there was a curve at the bottom of the desk that I cut out and made it have the same arch as the sides. I did do a distressed look on the top of the desk and added a second coat of polyacrylic. If you're out there watching and you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Also, make sure you push that notification bell so you'll be aware of all of my upcoming videos. Thanks everyone for watching and enjoy your day.